there is some Jedi mind tricks that not a lot of people understand. I'm going to talk about a few other tips that will ensure that, you know, your users actually have a good experience when they visit your site. One of them is the way that people read and consume content. You want to use subheadings because sometimes people just look at what's bold and what's big just so they can make sense of the whole website and see if it is um, usable for them or if it is the one that they want to um, if it has got the content that they want to use. So this is where you want to use proper subheadings, proper H1, H2, H3 tags. And it also helps Google understand your content a little bit better. So it is like, you know, really putting it into little compartments um, so that people can judge for themselves whether your content is useful to them or not. And once Google understands what is it that you do and where you do it from, it then makes it easy for you to be ranked on there. So subheadings are not just, um, you know, a copyright or, you know, a copywriting must have or nice to have. It just really, um, you know, packs your information into a neat order, which makes it easy for users and also the Google robots uh, to understand what it is that you do and, and who you do it from. Okay. Now, <clears throat> remember, there's, uh, when you were growing up, uh, people would tell you, or not even when you're growing up, but people always say they eat food with their eyes. All right. So when you see a very good dish, and that's why fast food shops have these very uh, sumptuous looking photos and inviting photos of their food, even though the photo that's on the billboard does not match the burger that you end up eating. So you want to make sure that your content is visually appealing. If you've put in the headers, it sort of separates, um, you know, the, 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 the words and it makes it easy on the eyes. Anything that's easy on the eyes is easy on the brain. Remember, our customers don't want to work hard to find the information that they're looking for. So there's been several studies that indicate that, you know, visuals help people understand the content better. Sometimes you might think that you have, um, you know, somebody might not even, um, you know, really concentrate on reading, but they just glance through a, a, a website and naturally they would automatically know and understand what the website is going to do for them. Why? Because our brain is constantly getting and collecting stimuli from different places. So if you have actually separated your content in such a way that it's easy for the brain to read without the person being cognitive, you are subliminally passing on your message to your customer there. You are not going to run out of space or you're not going to run out of film. So put in as much information, enough white space around content <coughs> that put in enough information around content. It normally helps, um, you know, the brain to actually make sense of um, the information around that. So several studies have um, indicated that visuals actually help people understand your content better. Use relevant images, videos, and screenshots to illustrate your points. Like they say, videos and pictures speak a thousand words where your words uh, might um, not be as, you know, you know, as, as illustrative as, as you would want. All right. Now, while you're on a website and everything else, try and avoid pop-ups. Pop-ups were a thing of the 90s or in the year 2000 where it was cool and it made it look like your website was whiz-bang. <laughs>